So out of the three races, if there was one thing you take away as a uh, learning or thing you think, thought you did well or something you want to work on, what would it be? Uh, sail for the puffs. They were like auto tax. Mm -hmm. And it was the epitome of the day that you sailed to the puff and sailed whatever lift it was. Mm -hmm. And then when you got to Lunder Mark, figure out how to get there. But, you know, just say, I mean, even if it took you hard to one side or the other, two thirds of the way up, you just kept going. Yeah. Because you had to stay in the puff and make ladder runs up the course. Mm -hmm. So today we sailed um, on the smallest part of Lake Beulah, so the first leg was really the most important thing. Um, and the starting line was kind of big because uh, we had such a big group compared to how big the lake was or that we were sailing in. So our goal today was just to not really focus on the favorite end as much as just trying to get a clear lane and going as fast as we can and getting around the first mark in the top five or six. Because once you get around that mark with how, how it was near the shore, if you could get going, you could separate from the fleet. And then it was basically uh, you versus the five boats around you. And we were lucky enough to do that in every race. Um, so we were able to stay consistent, which was key. Um, and so we really feel that the starts were the most important. The other thing I really liked is those new sails in Telltales. They never, usually during races, I'm running my brother up there to unspin them around the thing and uh, the side stay and th those things just always perfectly straight with that technology so that was really cool but yeah I mean it was tough it was shifty and the other biggest thing today was you had to stay patient on whatever side you were because all of a sudden one side would cave in and the other side would look really good and if you chased over there by the time you got over there the side you were at would would fill in so you really had to just stay on whatever side you were and hope that uh, it came in um, so basically at the start, just not so much going for the favorite end as much as just trying to get out in front of the top 20 boats and just getting around in the top six or seven was, was the biggest thing I think today. And luckily we were able to do it, so. Our first start was okay, we kind of got sandwiched. We did a good job of getting a big hold lured. Put the bow down, accelerated, hit the line, ready to go. Uh, and then we were patient. So, you know, there were a lot of puffs that would hit you and your bow would go down, you know, five, ten degrees. But the important thing was the weight, weight it out, honor it, and, uh, you know, a lot of times you would lift back up for another 20, 30 boat lengths, and then now and the big shift would come. So it was looking past the small stuff mm. to go to the next one, which is usually bigger, really getting out to the sides. We sailed in clean air once we got up to the front. We, uh, we did a good job of coming around the offset and staying high or jiving right away to get a nice lane on the down ones to get clear air. That was big for us. Um, lured mark roundings, I thought we did okay. We, uh, we started the sheet lining process earlier than later, which helped us uh, have more velocity as we came around the buoy. Kept us closer to the mark, and that way, especially when there's boats in front of you, if you can get a tighter rounding than the boat in front of you, you're going to be able to hold a lane longer. And a lot of times, that's nice because you're going to need a couple, you know, you're going to need 10, 20 boat lengths to run the mark before you get into that shift attack. Um, it also helps you clear the fleet of boats coming downwind. A lot of mistakes people make is they come around that mark and they tack right away into a big wall of boats. You can lose 10, 20 boat lengths by doing that, unless it's really, really windy and that wind's going to fill in. In the last race, we just gave ourselves uh, a chance. We were sailing on starboard going across the lake. We had uh, the three boats in front of us. They all tacked on which was the lift. And we saw a little bit more darker water farther. So we said, you know, we have nothing to lose. Why not follow them? Might as well get out. We got some windward leverage on them. And sure enough, they uh, they lost their breeze. And it kept funneling into our sail. And we were able to stay high and, and uh, sail over the top of them. And then just do two tacks on top and uh, come in first. So it was fun.